uh, Jimmy Kimmel had uh, like this little comedy skit with uh, this kid that was supposed to play the role of Kanye West and the interviewer from uh, the BBC and they were just making fun of him throughout the interview they're drinking milkshakes and he's trying to make it seem as though Kanye West is nothing but a child Kimmel also um, you know does some commentary on uh, Kanye and he says the following he Kanye said he's the number one rock star on the planet whatever planet he's on but the reality is he is number one. I mean, rock, he's not a rock star technically, right? But he is at the top of the charts constantly. Anything Kanye does, I mean, Kanye does this interview with BBC, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, because okay, he so acted like a crazy person. He acted like a crazy person at some points, but r regardless, it doesn't matter. Kanye West. Yeah, but then Snooki was a. Was, was you the can't compare Snooki to Kanye West. Well, Snooki, apparently, we can compare Kanye to anybody. <laughs> like, he's Muhammad Ali, he's Nelson Mandela. Yeah, now he's Snooki. I'm sorry, did I just offend somebody? <laughs> right. But, like, to be fair to Kanye, he accomplished something in music, yeah, right? No Whereas Snooki yeah. accomplished. Nothing. You know, falling down on the boardwalk on her face after drinking, you know, Thank far you. too much. Yeah, I mean, right. what did Snooki do to accomplish or, or to gain her fame? She didn't do anything. Right. She made a fool out of herself. And then uh, Jimmy Kimmel also said, uh, does Kanye West know you're not supposed to be your own hype man? I disagree with that as well. You want to make it in any industry where you're considered a public figure, you have to be your own no, hype I man. No, I just I won't, couldn't disagree with you guys. No, no. you're what? wrong. You're, you're so wrong. You are so no, especially I'm not wrong, but there's a degree of decency that is fine and no you're not supposed to go around saying you're the greatest you do you, you do have people. to say that you no, know you why? don't you no, know you why? don't because if you don't if you don't go around <laughs> saying <laughs> thank you, you, thank say? you. I didn't even hear what he said. I said earlier wrong with in the show that we're the end of the angry white men, and now that was it. <laughs> oh, so that's gonna... what's wrong with your generation. Yeah, like thereby the... losing the argument, of course. <laughs> 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 yeah. really, At least on YouTube. You're really letting your count side show. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, in this day and age, the more you toot your own horn, the further you get. And like, I think that's yeah. been my personal problem with with press and everything. Because I Bosworth. don't like going to the freaking parties and talking about how I'm the most important freaking person in the world do you but people who do do that get further in their careers isn't it's very there something frustrating that is not awesome yeah okay isn't there something that's not awesome about that you're cool with that no no, 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 no. no. go ahead yeah you, of course you're all right you know it's unbearable but yeah. it works it works right and 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 what makes it not so unbearable is when you do it tongue-in-cheek like Muhammad Ali did now the problem with Kanye is his tongue is not quite where it needs to be in his cheek, right? <laughs> so he's not to the point where, like it's Donald Trump, where it's not tongue in cheek at all. It's just a stupid, annoying, mm -hmm. full of crap hype man who just goes around hyping himself. Oh, I'm the best, Obama's the foreigner. And Kanye you West know? didn't inherit millions from his father either. Right. Kanye, right, West, exactly. Kanye West did it on his talent. Like mm -hmm. it, he didn't even get to the point where anybody would pay an ounce of attention to him until he made it based on his talent. Right, so if Trump is on the scale of being a bullshit hype man based on nothing, uh, and I know he, 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 they say he made millions of stuff. No, he didn't. No. If you, he's a terrible uh, failure. He went bankrupt, his companies went bankrupt four different times, and his father was already a millionaire, and all he did was hype himself up and build up this brand name. That's all, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's like a glorified Snooki. Now, on the other end is Muhammad Ali, who's doing it a tongue in cheek, and is a great hype man that we all enjoyed. I would say Kanye is closer to Muhammad Ali. He's not Muhammad Ali, but he's closer to him than he is to Trump. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. yes. I, I mean, Trump is in a league of, of obnoxious, unbearable hype all by itself. But I don't like a world where we think it's, I, I mean, I, lo I love the world. I think it's unfortunate that we live in a place where Anna, I'm sure, is correct that, no, you got to hype yourself. You got to be your number one hype man. That blows. It blows. It makes for a ton of unbearable people. And Here's Kanye, and why Jimmy Kimmel was able to make fun of him, Kanye is, while enormously talented, unbearable. Well, here's, often. Here's my proof that Anna's right. Because uh, we, it, I, I am an amazing comedian. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I have an hour special that was chosen best of the year by iTunes and Punchline Magazine. And, uh, and the reason I have to tell people that, because it turns out if I don't, fucking nobody will. Exactly. Then. Okay, so, and if I had a little bit more press, maybe uh, things, people would, I would be. I got it, but there's obviously, be. there are degrees. You have to do it because you're, you were struggling at the time, struggling <laughs> now, you know, I mean, you have to make, yeah, obviously, I don't get that you should never tout yourself, but there's a point at which you stop doing no, it. No, you're right, yeah, you're right, all. and the work should speak for itself. At some point, the work, yeah. and Kanye, the irony is that Kanye, motherfucker, 
the work is now speaking for itself. It yeah, is, yeah. it is. Okay, I so like, let me I, let me jump in because now we got to talk about his response to Kimmel. Because okay. his, his tweets to Kimmel were hilarious. So uh, let's take, take a look at the first one. He says, Jimmy Kimmel is out of line, and of course, all caps, uh, is out of line to try and spoof in any way the first piece of honest media in years. And of course, he's referring to his interview. He continues, Jimmy Kimmel, I don't take it as a joke. You don't have scumbags uh, hopping over fences trying to take pictures of your daughter. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel, put yourself in my shoes. Oh no, that means you would have gotten too much good pussy in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. I like that. I, uh, I do too. <laughs> um, you can't put yourself in my shoes. Your face looks crazy. Is that funny? Or if I had a kid say it would be, would it be funny? Yeah, if a kid say, if he had a kid say yeah. it, would it be funny? Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Does he have more? Yeah, there's more. Oh, for wow. Christ's sake. Yeah. Okay. Or for uh, God's sake. <laughs> should I do a spoof about your face? Or are you fucking Ben Affleck? Uh, and then hashtag no disrespect to Ben Affleck. <laughs> 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 I disrespect to Jimmy Kimmel. That's hilarious. Okay. I like uh, how he didn't want to like <laughs> offend Ben Affleck That's in the cool. middle of that, right? He's, he's pissed, but and then um, I like you. Uh, I like you. You know me. I went to your family's wedding. I don't, I, okay. Was, yeah. yeah. Um, who, who you made it clear to me wasn't your family when I was on uh, then, I don't understand this one at all. Then <laughs> phone with you five minutes ago, you manipulative media motherfucker. Yeah. How oh, weird that you can't quite understand Kanye sometimes. Uh -huh. Sarah Silverman is a thousand times funnier than you and the whole world knows you told him. And then he posted a few pictures. Let's look at this one. No good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> And then one more, Jimmy Kimmel face motherfucker. That's okay. funny. But see, Ben, there's a little tongue in cheek. I mean, yeah. come on, you can't in the middle yeah, of an angry cheek, rant, you can't put up SpongeBob SquarePants. It's tongue in cheek. If you were actually super but tongue in cheek, but clearly also in there is this complete lack of humility and any understanding that you're fair game to get made fun of. Like mm. this big resentment, like how dare yeah. you make fun of me, Kanye West? Yeah. Hey, of I, course we're gonna make fun of you. I blame Twitter. Because, you know, all this shit mm. happened before. People couldn't immediately tweet something and have to think about it, go to sleep, wake up the next day, and not give a shit anymore. Right. And that's the problem. I mean, I've gotten into that where I'll tweet. I'm like, who gives? Why am I even bothering? So, yeah, uh, totally. You're so right. that's, I think that's probably, that probably would have happened a lot more with a lot of other people in the past, except we didn't have Twitter. Right. Right, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, uh, but you know. I got a letter today from <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> 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 Apparently, to regard to that show I did a week ago Wednesday. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So in, in adjudicating who's right and wrong here, mm -hmm. uh, Kanye is too butthurt over it, and he uh, undercuts his own argument for being a god. Totally. Because mm -hmm. the flip side is, if you read the Bible, right, that's God's exactly what God would have <laughs> done. Right. Yeah. Right. Guys, oh, what, did you just <laughs> wait? Did you just <laughs> say something about me? Is that what just happened? Because I can, I can smite <laughs> you, motherfucker. Okay, and I'm not bringing in SpongeBob. Okay, I'm gonna do it real. So there's a lot of, you know, don't say anything bad about me, otherwise I will fuck you up <laughs> yeah. in the Bible. So maybe he is a God in that sense.